Hello and welcome everybody. My name is Lurek. Welcome to another speed art from me. Uh, today we're drawing the conductor from the game Head in Time. Uh, actually a game I've never played myself. Um, I've seen like a little bit of it and it seems quite nice. Um, it's like, I don't know, it feels like something I would probably enjoy playing and could even maybe play on stream and i've been like i have like that the game was like recommended to me quite a while back to stream also and stuff like that uh i haven't really done that but maybe maybe i'll get to it sometime i don't know man um but either way i wanted to draw this character because i think he's really cool and yeah i don't know it feels like he feels really iconic to the game and oh like the franchise the game i don't know um so yeah i don't know i just wanted to draw him he's cool uh i think that like i didn't know like going in at least apparently he's supposed to be an owl i don't know how that happened um <laughs> if i would have to guess anything before knowing this information i would have, like probably guessed hey he's he's probably like an a canine Something canine. I don't know exactly what, but he seems more like, I don't know, the way of his, like, maw and stuff, his mouth, and how he, like, his, like, kind of talking animation and stuff seems a bit more dog-like to me. But, yeah, apparently he's an owl somehow. I don't, I, I have no clue how this happens, but, yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm concerned what kind, what they referenced. Where did they, did they find these kind of owls, SMH? Um, either way, he's really cool. I like the character design. It's like, I mean, really, he doesn't look like any animal. I'm saying that he looks more like a canine than, a, than an owl. Still doesn't really look like any than canine still. Um, so there's that. Still really cool character design. I like that he like, doesn't have eyes. I like his mouth, like his whole, whole deal, everything going on. And he's been fun to draw. So for stream, I sat down and was like, hey, let's draw this boy. And that's just what I did. Uh, the head was like relatively quickly. I had the head down. Um, like the perspective on it and having the maw how I want it to be. And like with all the teeth and how it's like kind of round. And like still it kind of shows like it's supposed to be like 3D. You can like look into it and kind of see like the back row as well kind of peeking through in the background and stuff it's like a little bit tricky but i think like i got that relatively quickly um what i more so was like i don't freaking know was like the whole yeah body the whole posture the whole pose i guess i don't know like often the hat is like pretty easy to do for me but then i'm like Hey, I kind of want the post not to just be like, hey, he's standing there. That's it. Um, I kind of want the post to like do something more crazy, you know, and maybe also kind of like communicate a bit of the character or something like that. So for stuff like that, I like to find a cool post. And I thought uh, after a little bit, I think I've hit that with like the post that I have going on. It's a bunch more expressive. Uh, I don't know if it's like super character fitting because I have actually no clue what his character is like I said I've never played the game I have no clue what he's all about all I know that he apparently is an owl and that he apparently also has a train or something I don't freaking know man but that's that's something I kind of know so I don't know really what's like fitting to his character at all however um I think the pose is really cool Adds a bunch of the more uh, dynamic to it. I like the pointing. I believe that hand pose is like also in one of the main arts. If you like, just like Google conductor, that's that hand pose is like what you're gonna see in one of the first ones. Um, either way, I still thought it looked cool and having him kind of point was cool. And I like also kind of like leaning back. Um, his like spine is basically really like curved backwards which like adds a bunch of dynamic as well then like his tie is like doing a big deal as well and like expressing a lot of like movement and stuff and i thought that's really cool i decided for this piece to have like shading also come from below or like the light rather come from below 
making the shading kind of more on the upper parts. Um, I think that like made him look a bit more imposing as well because I feel like he does look a little bit scary with like his mo uh, mouth and stuff. Um, so one should like emphasize that a little bit. Like he's probably like a bit more of a villain or like I would assume probably a bit more maybe like not clearly maybe a little bit gray. Assuming the story, knowing nothing about it, I don't know. But I think this makes it look pretty cool. And that's the main thing I'm going for here, because I have no clue what he's all about. And I don't want to spoil myself reading about him. So that's what we got. I really enjoyed this. Hope you enjoyed this as much as I did. If that's the case, boop that like and subscribe button. And on that, see you in the next one.